Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. Gonna pull you up. I'm a couple minutes late. I do apologize. But y'all, it's been one of those mornings. There we go. I gotcha. Good morning, good morning. It's one of those mornings I should have stayed in bed. <laughs> so, I've been trying to go live for two days. Okay. I was going to go yesterday, but then Lori was live for like three hours in the VIP group. And then this morning, Lori was live again. Dre was live. I was like, when is it my turn? <laughs> so, we are going to do the cross. Good morning, good morning. We're going to do the cross with um, just jute. No, I don't want to be in Canada with her now. <laughs> it's too cold and too much snow. So we're going to be doing this with these awesome, are they not gorgeous? And of course, I got them from Amazon. I will share all the links with y'all after the live. Um, and then the purple scarf. Okay, so this is going to be an Easter wreath. Just gonna go back to bed, y'all. I'm telling you. So, good morning. So let me bring you down so I can show you how I'm gonna do this petal. Now, this this jute was not my choice. I really wanted the poly burlap because I knew it would hold up. Now, jute's still gonna hold up, um, but it doesn't make as pretty a petal. Um, as I wanted. Um, so, let me show you what I did. So, I cut all of these 10 by 10. Okay. Um, if it works out, you're going to need 24 whole pieces And, hold on, I'll walk you through the numbers in just a minute, okay? Because it might get confusing. Because you're going to need 24 whole pieces and then 12 additional whole pieces cut in half. Does that make sense? So, we've got a whole piece. And then we're going to take one of these, and these are all cut 10 by 10. We're going to take one of these and cut them in half. Okay. So I'm just going to line it up and cut it right down the middle. Just like that. Okay. So you're going to need 12 of these. cut in half so that you have 24, okay? Then we're gonna take our whole piece, let me grab a couple clips. Okay, we're gonna take a whole piece. I always keep surge edge, upper left, bottom right. We're gonna scrunch right down the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, hello. Flip it up. Bring one side just a little bit over the other. And then we're gonna clip it. Then we're gonna get, is it freezing bad? It's not on my end. 
Yes, Lori does have the cross boards. Okay, then we're going to take that half piece and we're going to find our imaginary center. Two, three, two, three, just like that. And we're going to put it right over this piece. So it's going to sit on our board like that once I straighten it out. Okay, so let's clip it. And that's the petal we're going to use for the cross. Okay, now I do have one more that we will make. You can't wood burn jute, so just cut it and, and trim it up, y'all. All right, so here is the cross board. Now what I did was I loaded just the ones in the middle. Now here we're going to add more here, but I didn't want to confuse y'all. We'll get to that point when we get there. Now because these petals are so big, if you don't want to do this bottom one, you don't have to. You don't even need to do the bottom two if you don't. But you know me, go big, go home. So we're going to do them all with this petal. Okay, so we're just going to start putting them in. Hello, hello. And I'm going to try to straighten them out as we go. Now I really wanted poly burlap for this, y'all. I really, really did. But I didn't have any of natural poly burlap. So we did the next best thing. But you could even do this method, and I wanted to do this one too on the back, the blue. If you wanted to do this black and this one blue, or this one black and this one red, it would be gorgeous. Okay, now I do have most of these others done. So we are just gonna start putting them in. And let's fill up this board. See what I mean by it's going to fray? Don't worry about it. Yeah, this would work with any mesh, for sure. For sure. So y'all, anybody have um, Sprint? So, and I didn't even know, but Sprint changed to T-Mobile. T-Mobile bought them out. So I've spent the last hour on the phone trying to update my SIM card because I spent all weekend and couldn't call anybody, y'all. Couldn't text, couldn't call. I was like, okay, what's going on? We're crazy. And it's my account, but they wouldn't let me do anything. They had to send a code to another phone that's on my account. I was like, y'all got this all backwards. <laughs> You're so welcome. <laughs> And then my daughter fell this morning. She woke up really dizzy, got in the shower. I hear screaming. She had passed out, fallen, smashed her head in the shower. I was like, holy cow. Crazy. Cut that off. So that's what I mean by, I should have just stayed in bed. Yours changed to T-Mobile too. Yeah, T-Mobile bought them out, and I didn't even know. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, she's okay. She's really, her mouth really hurt. She was worried about her teeth and her nose because her nose was bleeding. Her mouth was bleeding. But she's okay. Thank goodness. You didn't have to do any of that, Linda. They had to send us new SIM cards, and the SIM cards didn't work, and I don't know. My daughter handled it all, but until it got to the point that the SIMS card didn't work. <coughs> Thanks for the stars. Yeah, this is a zip tie gun, so it tightens and cuts your zip ties all at once. Just like that. All right, we've got one more. And then I will show the petal one more time. Hello. We don't know. She she got dizzy. Um, her ears were ringing when she woke up. And I'm like, okay, do your ears hurt? Do they this, that, you know? And she just said they were ringing, but they had stopped ringing. And she felt somewhat dizzy in the shower, so she sat down. And she doesn't even remember how long she had sat there. And then when she tried to get up, she got really dizzy in this face planted in the shower. Crazy. All right, so let me show you the petal one more time. So we've got our whole piece. She had COVID like a couple months ago. No, it was longer than that, actually. So 10 by 10. Okay, scrunch. One, two, three, four, five. Bring one over the other. like that. Get the piece that you cut in half. Find your middle. Scrunch. One, two. One, two. And then this piece will go right over this piece. Just like that. Okay. Oh, really, Susan? And I actually, I, th I think it's even been longer than two or three months that she had it. Are you, Lynn? Huh. Yes, this mesh frays quite a bit. That's why I'm being very gentle with it. Um, and that's really another reason I wanted the poly burlap because I could heat seal it. Um, and it would just make a prettier petal. Now this one's still pretty, don't get me wrong, with this mesh. And I wanted to go with the natural for the cross. But you could obviously do these in any color. Oh, really, Virginia? Hello. Yeah, it could be blood pressure. It could be blood sugar. I asked if she had eaten. 
And of course she hadn't that early in the morning, but she did eat yesterday, so. Okay, now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna do these. <clears throat> and then we're gonna see what we need to do about the middle. So if you are just joining, look, I'm gonna cover up where I wrote it. You're gonna need 24 whole pieces for the main part and then 12 whole pieces cut in half for that extra part because I'm getting ready to cover it up. So I wanted to say that again. And didn't make it to my nail appointment this weekend. Yeah, I really like the petal. I like how it lays. You can't get much. Now, I did cut this yesterday because I had intended to go live yesterday with this. Um, but what I do is I always lay something heavy over it. So that it's pretty much flat and it's easier to work with. So it laid like that over 12 hours. Right, one more here. And if you see, there's kind of a scoop right here. And this nub is fitting right in that scoop. Um, I don't have enough to make another petal unless I, I absolutely need some, but you'll be able to watch it on the replay, Peggy. Sorry, I've already made both of them. All right, I'm going to come over here. It does. <laughs> it goes really quick. I like to be prepared. Doesn't always happen, but. If I, I've got, I've actually got some extra mesh, so I'll show it again after we're done. Remind me um, to show it again, because I'll forget, y'all know me. Hello, hello. And y'all, the um, the pink glittered sunnas are back in stock. Sorry, looking for that other petal. There it is. Um, and the silver rhinestone is back in stock. So those are both updated on my website. Y'all and y'all snow. Oh my goodness. I was sitting looking at all them pictures and I'm like, better them than me. You like my hoodie? I love coral. Especially on me because I'm kind of dark complected. Got that olive skin tone, so. Where's it? There it is. Okay, so that one's cut this one. So now I can see what I have to do in the middle. So I'm thinking, let me turn this over for you. So I am going to go here to here, here to here, and complete this square. Okay, so I did cut four. So you are going to need 20, 24 whole pieces and 12 pieces cut in half. Okay. Let me get 
get under all this mesh. I do too. I love the Dean Michael petal. So this is basically a sunflower petal with a Dean Michael petal on top of it. It's getting big. I'm trying not to snag it. You got your zip tie gun, isn't it fun? Yeah, I caught the tail end of her snow live. I'm just going to leave it open. It might be a little bit easier. Stop it, Carrie. <laughs> You're funny. So if you've already got your plastic bands on them, if it's easier to leave that open, leave it open. Where am I located? I am in League City, Texas, just south of Houston. Did you know the, is that, yeah, the, the, the quince, yeah, they live on the other side. You sent me the box, Sherry, okay. Do one more. So see how that kind of fills in these empty places. Oh, you're cruising out of Galveston. Yeah, well, I'm right in the middle between Galveston and Houston. So are you taking me on your cruise with you? Because you'll pass right by my street. You can stop and pick me up. <laughs> All right, last one. And you might even, you know, if you want to make it easier, kind of trim these off a little bit. I'll turn it over and show you, Carrie. Let's try to get that nice and tight. these 
big phrase. I don't know how to grab it. <laughs> there we go. So that's what it looks like so far. It's big. So it ends up being about 34 inches. Okay, get all of these out of our way. All right, and then I'm just going to make it simple, y'all. Simple, simple. So I've got these flowers. Ugh. Claudia's Decor is sending me something cool, y'all. And it's going to be available to y'all. I can't wait till I get it and we can show y'all. It's going to be awesome. So. Let me think how I want to do this. Now the purple scarf is also going to be on here as well. I gotta remember I'm looking at it as it's laying down. So we might end up using a few more of these than I thought we would. might use a little bit of this greenery. Hold on, I'm kind of thinking as I go here, y'all. Probably actually need to cut that down a little bit. But all I have are my good scissors. And I don't even see those at the moment. Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. So don't do this with your good scissors, y'all. Although it did cut pretty good. And these came from Amazon, but I will share the links with y'all. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. That's a whole lot of stuff right there in the middle. Let me tell you. All right, hold on. Let's just get these where I want them. And I will just zip tie these to the board and probably glue them as well. I probably hold on y'all, I'm winging it. Thanks for the stars. I don't like how this is coming out. So what I will do is, let me just break some of these apart.
Now these I will just probably glue in because I got a whole lot of mesh that I can get on these. But I don't have my glue gun here or on, so y'all will just have to kind of imagine that this looks good right now because it looks a total hot mess. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't bring my glue gun, but that's all right. Now y'all, it's not gonna stay like this. I promise. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a bed. A bed of greenery. Has anyone made one like this? See, that's what I get for winging it live. All right, something like that, but it will be glued in better, okay? I promise. <laughs> All right, and then I got the purple scarf. Oh, did she? No, I don't need her to guide me. <laughs> I just needed my glue gun, actually. And then I could have figured it out. But All right, so I'm just taking it, and I'm folding it in half. Okay, because y'all know I'm OCD like that. Okay, so this is going to drape down here. And then this is going to come over here. I really I wanted this simple not a lot of foo-foo just trying to cut off some of the big phrase but I'll have to definitely have to go in and uh, fix or clean it up how about that right, let's see if I can stand it up without so there it is for now but I will get these glued in because they're going to just keep falling and get a, a better bed of greenery can tulips be upside down? But y'all get the idea. <laughs> it's not gonna, it's not gonna stay. Yeah, I knew there were three. But that's why, because there are only three, and these are a little bit small, I'm going to have to get some greenery to put over it to kind of hide that middle a little bit more. And maybe 
what I could have done was when I was putting in not this one but this one I could have zip tied it in together and had it kind of poking out does that make sense okay one up two down I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to Google that I know there's three but I don't know if there's a certain placement now all this is just going to fall off. But y'all get it. I don't think they go upside down, y'all. Yes, the scarf came from Amazon as well. But I'll get these. I'll get it figured out and I'll post a picture. But it's basically just going to be the greenery and the three lilies. And that's it. Simple, straight to the point. Get one big one. Well, I already got all these little ones. And I even got some that had the purple in the middle. They were gorgeous, but it was the wrong purple to go with the scarf. So I was like, eh. All right, any questions? Oh, I said I would show y'all one more time. I do have some spare mesh right here. So I'll show you that petal one more time. And then I'm going back to work. Playtime is over. <laughs> All right, so you'll need one piece. 10 by 10 and then you'll need one piece 10 by 10 but cut in half okay so diamond shape on a wire frame you probably could I couldn't tell you how to do it though because I've never done it cut it right down the middle Okay. Don't worry about this edge because you're not going to see this edge anyway. All right. Take your whole piece. Scrunch it one side to the other. Okay. Bring this petal over the other petal just a little bit. Flip it. Yes, you could definitely use poly burlap. That's what I wanted, but I didn't have a natural poly burlap to do it with. Okay, take your half piece, take that cut edge, find your middle. Now I have this one folded a different way, so it's gonna, okay, scrunch your middle. One, two, one, two. Just like that. And then this petal goes right over this petal. So you've got your sunflower petal and then your Dean Michael fold over the top. So there you go. Any questions? Hmm. All right. Well, if that's it, I'm going to get these glued in. I will post a picture. Um, the silver rhinestone back in stock, the black rhinestones back in stock, the pink, that bright pink that I did the uh, Valentine um, flower with is back in stock. Um, can you see the back? Okay. 
Okay, so I just loaded every set in in the middle and then completed the square. Sorry, I'm holding it the wrong way. Completed the square, oh, wrong way, right here in the middle. Okay. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Y'all have an amazing day. VIP group, we will see you tonight for chit chat. So if you have any questions, go post them on the event. And we will, you took a screenshot. Awesome. And we'll see you tonight. Bye, y'all.